I think as Indigenous people, we have the responsibility to preserve our lands and to find other ways of energizing our homes or anything in general that doesn't include something that destroys our land. I grew up knowing that we had to protect what we have and to try to find different eco-friendly ways to bring things into our community. This specific project is uh, affordable, replicable, net zero, multi-unit residential. Some of the additional complexity that came with this being part of a pilot project were constraints that were given to us by the program and that was the multi-unit. We looked at those in terms of how we designed the ventilation systems, fire separations, entrances and exits. You're also trying to deal with scent and noise. So people cooking in one space that that's not infiltrating another. So there are a bunch of other design details and characteristics that are important because, you know, when you were looking at densification, reducing, trying to add the millions of homes that we need in Canada, there's going to be more and more multi-unit. So you have to deal with those things that make it easier for people to live close together in harmony. We want to put somebody in a home that's going to last generations, that's going to be able to be passed down and still be in good shape for, for the kids, for the grandkids, and so on and so forth. When we look at a step code home, that's exactly what we're setting them up for. We're setting them up for long-term success. This project has had massive impacts. We were able to home a low-income elder, and we were able to home a, a single mom with like a very small infant baby at the time. We're in crisis right now. There is a shortage of homes, and we were able to supply them with a home and not only have affordable rent, but have affordable bills on top of that. In my old home, it was hard to keep the house warm in the winter. Now in this house, you don't have to worry about heating and the cooling. It's very comfortable. I like it. It's, everything is better. It feels very good to be part of a community that is energy efficient. You can feel good at the end of the day and knowing that you're doing a good thing by living in these homes. With regard to the cost of operating the building, you should see a minimum of 60% reduction just due to what we've done on the envelope and the mechanical system. Then you've got the added full solar. So subject to occupant usage, it should theoretically be zero for their energy costs. A home can do so much for bringing the balance into people's lives and giving them that hope that they need and they strive for and what some people have been looking for for their entire lives. So when we think about this home and, and what it's doing as, as this beacon of hope in our community, we're hoping we can replicate that not only here, but other communities can replicate it as we move forward into the future.